Today I'm sharing the 2023 Cattle Battle Mead recipe with you. Let's get started. So what is the Cattle Battle? It's a special mead category found in the Mead Stampede Mead Competition. Each year we tell you the ingredients for the mead that we're making, and then you go and make it, and the goal is to match our flavor profile as much as possible. It's quite the daunting task, but it's a lot of fun. This year we decided on hops, honey, and citrus as the three main profiles that we wanted to achieve. Last year doing the most made the Cattle Battle Mead, and this year I'm the one making it. I've had some fun experiences with hopped meads and I thought this would be really cool to take on for this year. We ended up using the recipe on screen as the final one. I'll explain my hops and other choices here in a second. I'm using a combination of the Kent Golding hops and Lemon Drop hops. The Kent Golding hops were used as my bittering hop. They feature a lavender, spice, honey, earthy, lemon, orange, and grapefruit profile, so I thought these would be a fun for the boil and maybe a little bit of the aroma. The actual aroma hops were the lemon drop hops and they featured a lemon kind of citrus note. So I got about 2.5 gallons of water up to a boil. I then boiled my Kent Golding hops for 25 minutes. I chose a tropical honey for this brew to help really pronounce the citrus side. I then added my honey after it had finished boiling. The lemon drop hops were used as a dry hop, and you'll see that later on. After combining my water, honey, and yeast, we then let it start fermenting. We used Fermate O for this one to help it ferment along. The starting gravity for this brew was 1.040, so we're going to end up with a light 5.2% ABV brew to crush. I added my Fermate O at the 24 hour mark, and this brew fermented through everything in about two weeks. I added my lemon drop hops into the already primary container as it was going along, left those for a couple days, and then you'll notice that it was quite the mess. So I went ahead and racked it into a new container, and then threw a mesh strainer into another one, and then finally one more time into a new container to hopefully get all of the hops out. We then stabilized it with potassium sorbate and metabisulfite. This allowed us to back sweeten with more honey, so we're ready to do that. We ended up using clover honey to back sweeten this, so we used about two pounds of clover honey for this five gallon brew. This brew was ready to keg, so we went ahead and kegged it, and then we force carbonated it. We then set our PSI to 30 for two days and got this up to the carbonation level that we wanted. I realized it wasn't super zesty even after the carbonation, so I zested two lemons and added them in a hop cage. I then used a regular fishing line tied to this hop cage and put it in that keg, Maybe this wasn't a great idea, but it allowed me to get a little more zestiness in this brew. I pulled that whole string out. I didn't take any video of this, sorry. And then of course we repressurized it. Now that we've seen the whole saga of this year's Cattle Battle Mead, let's go ahead and taste it. All right, BC, the Cattle Battle 2023, we've arrived. It's the weekend of, if you're watching this <laughs> yeah. at, in the moment. Um, some we of you ran over here really fast to yeah, record it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's what I, yeah. Totally what's <laughs> happening. Um, if you are uh, someone who submitted a mead, you saw the process, you saw the ingredients, and that could be either scary or awesome for you. So sure. uh, let's go and taste it. Okay. And then uh, maybe describe it some, and then we'll have some results later on. Probably not in this video, obviously. Now, I don't quite know what you've done here. I know what our ingredients were. So, Kent Golding Hops Okay. in the boil. Then I used Lemon Drop Hops for aromatics nice. as a dry hop. Uh, some Tropical Honey. Uh, mm -hmm. Came back with some Lemon Zest and put it in the keg, kind of like how you recommended. Smart. And then back sweetened some. I don't think okay. it did like any acid balance. I think it just, it should be carbonated. What, do you recall what honey, what tropical honey it was? It was like uh, a blend? Sean Harris. Okay. Tropical honey thing Got he it. promotes. Okay. I just, I'm smelling, like I can smell the honey character and yep. it's very like soft and floral mm -hmm. and vanilla. Yeah. And so that definitely is not coming from your hops or your mm -hmm. acid or any of that. So it's interesting. It's I interesting. was very worried at first that this was too hoppy when I first mm. did it. And I don't know, I think it's maybe tempered down some. Yeah, I found that that happens. Uh, I've got a keg of hopped hydromel that I made three months ago, and I'm like close to the end of the, the keg now, and yeah. the hops character is really faded. Yeah. This All one's right. definitely not faded, in my opinion. Go for it. 
I've already, I've already drank some. I've been, I've been sipping. What do you get? It's a nice bittering charge mm -hmm. on there. You, you are not m like missing out on that bitter hot right. character. So the boil technique worked really well. It is citrusy. Mm -hmm. It's almost got like a, like a tropical fruit plus citrus zest kind yeah. of flavor to it. Like yeah, it's a, got like a pineapple-y, yeah. like mango-y kind of Pineapple, vibe. mango, uh, papaya, like mm. all kind of in that family. I do, um, I, I think that hop combination is not bad. I, I was a little worried at first, but I do think it's played well. Lemon drop hops are really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, in moderation. Yeah. And I think using that zest really helps amplify them too. As you're getting that floral, lemony kind of flavor, but you're also getting some of that, that like bite from mm. the, the zest, that kind of pithy astringency, but it's like just enough. It's not. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's not like just a clawing little. at your tongue. Yeah. It's just yeah. enough. This is really well balanced. It's refreshing and I think it hits all the marks. Obviously, um, the fun part of this challenge is there are probably 10,000 different ways you could use these ingredients. Yeah. And what we're gonna do, we're recording this way ahead of Mead Stampede, just FYI. <laughs> but I have, I will have bottles for the Mead Stampede day. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we basically take mm -hmm. my bottles that I brought and we will side by side and take your mead that you submitted for the cattle battle and mm -hmm. taste a little bit of mine basically taste a little bit of, of yours. And then the winner of the cattle battle is the one who gets closest to this. To the flavor of this. Yes. Which so is tough to do. It is very tough to do, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, some of you are probably shaking in your boots right now because you're looking at your ingredients, uh, but that's okay. It, you might be surprised. Yeah, it might still turn out like this. Uh-huh, or better. <laughs> This is much better than last year's cattle battle mead. I, yeah, that's the thing. Last year, <laughs> ours, I think we had multiple that were better than what cre we created, <laughs> which was kind of like a, oh, crud. But yeah. also, it's cool. Yeah, no, it's it's fun to see what other people have done. And, you know, I, I, you brewed this multiple times. I've done two iterations. Two, maybe, yeah. See, I, that last year's cattle battle, I did just one mm -hmm. done and all the way through. And I did it at a pretty high ABV, so yeah. I really could only do it once. Right. And so, uh, yeah, it's like, it's, you, you don't know. You don't know what you're gonna be up against when you compete in this, given you don't know what we've done. You don't know that he refined this. Until recipe. right now. Until right <laughs> now. This is really good, dude. Thank you. Well, and if you have submitted to the competition and you're watching actively on the weekend of Mead Stampede, we will be streaming and doing a live event to announce the winners of every category mm -hmm. and all of those and the awards and the cattle battle. So if you did submit, make sure you tune into that or come join us in Oklahoma City. If you're, come on over. If you're yeah, around. just drive on over. You're, you got an hour or two maybe? Uh, but yeah, come on and be a part of the ceremony. See if you won. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna, there's, there's complimentary food and, and sodas for yeah. first come first serve. It's gonna be great. So uh, how can you lose? Regardless of where you landed, I think this recipe is really fun. In my iteration, I think it's good. It Your iteration probably is also good. And I encourage you to go play with those ingredients, make some mead, and uh, submit those meads to Mead Stampede 2024. Because that's coming up probably sooner than you might realize. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.